It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Dea Brewing Company's Tappy Pills coming in at 5% ABV. And we got something really, well, I'm hungry today, so I'm hoping it's gonna be really good. This is the KFC Zinger Stacker. Look at that. Big old burger. First of all, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Really enjoying my Pilsners of late. I was up at Dea on the weekend with a few other beer reviewers on YouTube. We had a bit of a get together, had a few beers, and I brought some cans home with me. The beer in Dea was absolutely tremendous. Really good stuff. So I'm hoping this Pils is going to be really good too. We got a four finger white head, hazy looking Pils, good levels of carbonation. Very light coloured beer, very straw coloured, light coloured, hazy beer. Let's get the aroma. Whoa. It's like, it smells amazing. Like a pills that you would buy off a supermarket shelf, but, but, turbocharged. Like, like, like much more hops added to the beer. Maybe some Saz hops. Oh, spicy, clean, so clean. Wow. Little push of carbonation in the inside of the mouth. I'm gonna say it one more time. It's so clean and crisp and lovely, absolutely lovely. Oh, to just a touch of like lemon zest and spice and the drinkability on this beer is absolutely incredible. Let's let that settle down a minute. Let's get into this Zinger burger. See how it pairs up. I want to eat it before it gets cold. So the Zinger Stacker, this is a double burger. It has two of the chicken, spicy, oh look at that, patty things in breadcrumbs, some cheese, loads of, what do they call that, chili jam I suppose. And look at that on the back. Should we, should we get messy? Mmm. Oh, wow. Blimey, that is really spicy. That orange sauce around the back there. Blimey, that's got a real kick to it. The chicken's really tasty. Mmm. Beautiful, beautiful, tender chicken. Crunchy, crispy, outsidey breadcrumb bits as well. That's spicy. Mmm. Thing is with KFC, I find they can make really good, messy, sloppy burgers for cheap as well. This was on its own. I didn't buy, I didn't want the chips, I didn't want the Coke. I wanted to come back and have a beer. I bought this burger on his own, double stacker, amazing for lunch. It, this will totally, totally do me. It was five pound fifty. Mm. Back to the beer. Ten out 
Tappy Pilsner by Dea. That is really... Gotta be careful now. I might get some spice in my beer. It's really spicy. Really full on and spicy that burger and the beer just oh, so unbelievable. The best, you know, I've been beer reviewing on YouTube for eight years now. And I used to come up with all sorts of different descriptions for the beer and flavour and I try and boil it down now a little bit simpler. And and just the biggest word that keeps coming into my head when I sip this beer is just how clean it is, just how clean, refreshing, but super, super tasty. The spicy on the back end. It's just incredibly, incredibly drinkable. Let's see what the brewer says about it. They've said it themselves. Crisp, clean lager with a heavyish dosing of Blanc and Saz in the Whirlpool. These, these, the Blanc and the Saz are very traditional, typical kind of Pilsner hops. It's what makes that beer lovely and spicy, but juicy and slightly citrusy at the same time. Please keep it refrigerated. It's vegan friendly, unfiltered, unpasteurized and unfined. Um, that is incredible. That is an incredible, incredible Pilsner. I hope they carry on making that. Rating for the beer, Daya Brewing Company, absolutely knocking it out of the park at the moment. I'm gonna rate this 500 ml can of Pilsner. It looks good, smells good, tastes wonderful. I'm gonna give it a rating of easily. Easily, a, a Stone the Crows, nine out of 10. So nine out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. The burger, I'm gonna finish this off now. That burger is, that chicken burger is incredible. Absolutely incredible. For that price, for that £5.50 I paid, you've just got something. So if you like your spicy food, a spicy burger, chicken burger, that has got everything you can possibly want. So I know it's KFC, I know it's mainstream food, but that zinger burger is really zingy. I like that enough to also give it a 9 out of 10, a stone the crows 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.